Hebner. And first, let me introduce, at 230 pounds, from Lutchville, Tennessee, Jay Widener. And his opponent, at 262 pounds, from Mongolia, managed by Don Carson, the Mongolian stopper. One fall, 15-minute time limit. We wait for that right after these commercials. We've got action in our first event on today's program. Jay Widener out against the Mongolian stopper. Any horses stopper? In the able hands of manager and mentor Don Carson. Carson, a, quite a wrestling career uh, in his own right, uh, held titles uh, throughout the country and uh, has to his credit managed to be the top professional wrestling team in the past uh, five or six years. And a stopper opening up on Widener, driving through the top turnbuckle. Now the stopper pitches Widener through the ropes and on to the studio floor. Stopper being pushed back by referee Hebner. And Carson kicking at the man on the outside, taking the wind out of the sails of Jay Widener. Carson and the stopper hood. These gentlemen are not putting things their way. The Stomper has lost the Southern title belt to Jack Mulligan Jr. Carson has uh, his problems with Black Jack Mulligan. And of uh, course, as you all know, the bounty, $20,000 from place on the head of Jack Mulligan by Don Carson. Men like the Stomper, Big John Scott, and uh, added to that group, crazy little boy coming into the area, all trying to collect that $20,000 bounty. And here's the Stomper. Using that hammerlock from the front now, King through. Locking it. Pinching up on it now. The Stomper has uh, the wrestling credentials. Come on, join me back with the best one of him, Sandy Scott. Sandy, again, let me uh, uh, apologize to the provoked uh, attack by Big John Stubb. Apparently, he's down with ex wrestlers and executives. And uh, I know it's. Uh, well, I know you weren't out here for that. And, uh, Hello. 
little trouble getting up here. He might get started in a few minutes. He's having a little trouble right now. I think something's wrong with his arm. Uh, the time is behind Darcy. There it is there, look there, there you see. Uh, he had the man there pinned for a uh, three counties up on two. That's uncalled for. You know, uh, so, uh, you guys have a little trouble holding his shoulders down, you see. Uh, I, I think it's not a trouble with him, it's a trouble with your man who's stopper, a top by the stopper. I think you slipped and fell that time, didn't you? John Johnson very happy with the stopper is in control. Body slam by the man from Mongolia. Hey, Sammy Scott, while you're sitting here, why don't you observe what's going on? Just go ahead and observe what's going on, because Big John don't have any mercy either. It's Kinnadomaki, the uh, stopper's version of a sleeper. Put very wide, now wait a minute, Black Jack Mulligan hits the ring, and the stopper parts and heading for home. Mulligan, Mulligan falls him outside. He's out now. And it's gone. They have gone. I tell you, the mulligan, I wouldn't want him on me. Jackson didn't get a lick in. The stomper and Carson saw him coming. They split up and headed for home. Black Jack, I'm going to tell you what, Les Thatcher. I'm going to tell everybody watching TV right now that it's just about all over for Don Carson and the stomper. You take a look at that boy's face of mine, that man. He's a champion. You see what they did to him last week on TV. Nobody does that to a mulligan. Nobody gets away with it. And if you think I'm hot, brother, words are not going to express it. Carson and Stomper, you have no idea what's fixing to happen to both of you. And you can go to the bank with it. It's all over for both of you. Jack, you are to the comments of a very irate black Jack Mulligan. We'll be back with more action right after this commercial message. Then on the program will be for one fall, 15-minute time limit, here's a tag team match. First, at a combined weight of 541 pounds, black Jack Mulligan and Jack Mulligan Jr. Their opponents, at a combined weight of 564 pounds, Mr. X, one and two. One fall, 15 minutes. We'll be back for that one right after this. Black Jack Mulligan out for his team. And the bigger of the two Mr. X's will call him number one. And he left him number two. Ah! Black is moving today. Boy, those two big boys next one and two, aren't they? Actually, as a team, they play the Mulligan by about 22 or 3 pounds. So it's, it's very tough to find the Mulligan that way to finish that team. Too, but it looks like uh, Jack Mulligan is coming out and he's uh, going to try to stay on top of him. Black Jack a nice stay down and that's up the tag for Mr. X number one. Number two is that he's just in here, but still stopping him about 254 pounds. That is how going to Junior. Junior that second rope and good teamwork here, Sammy. Excellent teamwork. Excellent. They're keeping them moving, they're keeping them mixed up, not giving them a chance to get the For the fans that may not be aware, Sandy and George Scott uh, held the world tag team title more times than any other time in history. It's a professional record, so Sandy, I bow to you as far as uh, being the expert here on tag team record. Uh, you, you can go ahead and tell me who's doing what and doing the right or wrong. While they're making the tag and they're keeping the higher man in there, the first man coming in all the time. She has size 14 uh, right alongside the head. And the whole thing, yeah, excuse me, that's the most important part of here is the pin out of that uh, X1 and 2 point. Oh, no, that's caught in there now. Now he's moving out. All four wrestlers are in here. Got a first round of the at this point. And the two big boss men collide head on in front of the ring. And the mother is doubling up here. They may be outweighed here, Sandy, collectively, but still they are not being outlooked. That's right, uh, they're using their speed and their knowledge, and they're keeping them upset all the time. They're not giving them a chance to collect their senses. Uh, they're on them all the time. They're not giving them a chance to try them yet. Gentlemen, it is the opportunity to defeat the man. Uh, what he looks like is really of no consequence. Junior, with that elbow, sends the big man crashing through the canvas. You know, they got him, they've been working on him now for about a year and a half. 
and if they can keep him in there, it's just a matter of time before uh, Mulligan gets their hand raised. You know, that's uh, 241, 242 is very lean, Sanders, and if he matures, he's going to have that 20 pounds for that frame. It's going to make him uh, even tougher to handle. Oh, he's going to be awesome, yes. He's going to be an awesome uh, left leg. See, they're keeping them over in the Mulligan corner, and uh, that's the secret of this. Tag in and out and keep the man in your corner. Keep a first time in on your team all the time. Wow, double horrible. One would be bad enough from Blackjack, but we've been two of them. Uh, more than I would want to handle right now. Keep them over on their side, not giving them a tag. He's going over to make the tag, and they made the tag. The first man comes in. Jack Wise will move back out of that corner. Oh, definitely. You know, the old the old thing about it is uh, you tag out and roll on the open and then grab the leg of the guy coming in. Right. Uh, but Jack's been around. He's been in tag matches, and then he still knows what's going on. You know, Sandy, I've always I've mentioned to the fans uh, several times that in a tag match, you draw a imaginary uh, line from neutral corner to neutral corner and try and keep your opponent on your side of that line if possible. You better do that because if you don't, uh, you're going to get caught over on their side. Mulligan turns the tables on his season first in the cross corner and tag again. Oh, the last minute fighting for the good, Sandy, but they're not drilling ahead of steam as they make the tag. Yeah, they're running a little behind right now, but they are tagging in and out. A little bit. They've got big elbow again. That's Sunday. That, that's Sunday. That's Sunday. You know, we might say here that uh, although Blackjack uh, has a $20,000 balance, he's had a lot of stuff that they're looking for. Oh, he's going to be a big man. It seems that all Carson has been able to do with that bounty and with everything else is insensible, man, to make it back and forth. Sleeper all there, right? Are oh, you absolutely right? This is Sapper Jr. by John and Lee, where something your brother used quite a bit. The Sleeper applied now by Jack Mulligan Jr. And once, once you get that on, uh, that's all it's right. Keep the center ring, and there you go with a sleeper hold. It's Jack Mulligan Jr. Taking the ball for his team over Nick Jackson's win. So let's go to instant replay and see how that one shapes up for Jack Mulligan Jr. Here we see the uh, junior seeing his man into the ropes as the masked man comes off. Don't go away, Junior. Diving in the middle. Uh, yeah. I'll tell you, with that dive, he took the man right off his feet, John. John Stead's going to appear at the desk, the voice of John Stead in the hearing now. And the sleep is there, it's like the voice of Trampa wants you to know something. There's no way that man, that champion, Mulligan Jr. could ever get that sleeper on me. As a matter of fact, if he couldn't get it on me, there's no way that sleeper could hurt hurt me. Look at my neck. I got a 22 and a half inch neck. Take a good look at it. Put the camera on the neck. You think the junior Mulligan Art champion to do it again to my neck? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll put you out of the sleeper any time. I'll put you out. I'll step. I'll step right the center ring and I'll stand there. Turn my back to you. Not here. Oh, not, not, now, not, now, not, now, not now, gentlemen. Not now. Not now. We don't have time. I'll tell you what. When do we have to go next week? Next week, I'll be standing right here in the center of the ring. You put that thing on me. I'll steal your fucking whip on. You're just holding on to the back temporarily, Daddy. There's no way you you will whip this body to drop me down. You stand in that ring and let me put the sleeper on you. I'll stand right there, Daddy. Sweet dreams, baby. Sweet dreams. Okay. Hey, I can't wait. I can't wait. I might stay here all week and wait for him. All right, fine. We can do that next week. We do not have the time for it at this time. But, uh, all right, well, Big John Studd seems to feel that uh, Jack Jr. cannot put him out with that paper. Next week, we'll get a chance to find out. But right now, we're going to have to take a break and maybe right back. That's just death match. You've had your match. Now we're going to have mine. One fall, a hundred falls. One of us isn't going to walk away from the ring, brother. Don Carson, you yellow, yellow rap, there is no way for you to get out. The only way out is a one-by-one tube one right through here. The point is, Carson, somebody's going to get hurt. Somebody's head's going to get slammed against this cage. None of your pals, none of your friends. Nobody can help you now. Right here in Knoxville, brother, you are caged in and can get out. Friday night, you're going to be in that cage. 
That's what I heard, and I tell you what, a man that dresses the finest in the world, a man that is the finest manager in the world today, of the finest dresser, there's no way that I should be locked in no kind of shape. You couldn't do things like that. You couldn't push the guy in the corner. This man right here, a Texas dead man, Falls no Camp, that was the first mistake that the Mulligans has made today, and they're fixing to make another one right now.